Welcome to the Nicholas Lab Next Level of Technology. Today I'd like to compare two very famous DSLR cameras against, e against each other. The Canon 600D, or also known under the name T3i, against the Nikon D5100. Both cameras come in at pretty much the same price point and also seem to be very similar when it comes to the specs. Before I move on, I'd like to thank the friend of the family once again for buying the Nikon D5100 and letting me review it before. On both cameras, I'll be using the kit lens, so the lens that came with the camera. On the Canon 600D, I'll therefore use the EFS 18-55mm f3.5-5.6 IS2 lens, and on the Nikon D5100, I'll be using the AFS DX 18-55mm um, f3.5-5.6 VR lens. Alright, just so you know, I'll keep this comparison video as short as possible and will therefore only give you the most important information and differences. Therefore, I'll make this very short and will simply let you know the pros and cons about the features these two DSLRs have. The Canon 600D has 18 megapixels, whereas the Nikon D5100 has 16.2, but I'll be honest, you don't really notice the difference. The Nikon D5100 can only shoot with the 3x2 format, whereas the Canon 600D can shoot um, with the 3x2, 16x9, 4x3, as well as the 1x1 formats. I don't know how important that is, but I personally really prefer shooting with the 16x9 format. But I believe most people will stick with the 3x2 format anyways. Both DSLRs have a pentamere viewfinder with a dioptric adjustment wheel, a 3-inch very angle LCD screen and microphone inputs. The built-in flash on the Canon 600D is a lot stronger, whereas the one on the Nikon D5100 is a little bit weak. The Nikon D5100 as well as the Canon 600D DSLRs both have the live view mode. The Canon 600D manages to let you preview the image you're going to shoot in real time in a live view mode. Whereas with the Nikon D5100, you pretty much have to know how the shot will look like. When recording video with the Nikon D5100, you'll get to see a real time reaction. Nikon's digital zoom is much better and safer, but can sometimes take a little longer to adjust. But clearly, the Nikon D5100 is the winner in this aspect. When shooting with auto settings, the Nikon D5100 is also a lot faster than the Canon 600D and you don't have to wait as long for the scene to be properly adjusted. Auto focusing also works a lot faster with the Nikon DSLR, but the quality pretty much is the same. When in movie mode, the Canon 600D allows you to use fully manual settings for the shutter, aperture and ISO. The Nikon D5100 allows most of it too, but when it comes to the exposure, you pretty much have to rely on the automatic settings your camera chooses for your scene. Controlling the aperture while filming is also not very easy, but can be achieved by configuring and setting up the AEAF lock button properly. The built-in microphone on the Nikon D5100 is a lot better than the one on the Canon 600D. The 600D's built-in mic has that horrible hissing noise that can't really be fixed without buying a separate external microphone. However, it'll have to be a mic that has separate options to adjust the gain on the microphone itself. Otherwise, you'll once again end up with hissing noise. You don't have the problem with the Nikon D5100. But all external microphones will sound worse on the D5100 compared to the 600D. With the 600D and the right mic, you can achieve very clean sound. When shooting in low light situations, the Nikon D5100 clearly wins with not as much noise compared to the 600D. But when filming, the 600D wins in low light as well as in good lighting conditions. Something I noticed is that the colors of the photos and videos are completely different with these two DSLRs. 
the Canon 6RD kind of makes the photos look sharper than they actually are in real life, but the color accuracy isn't the best. The Nikon D5100 um, shoots with really accurate colors, just the way you see them with their eyes, and therefore the photos of the D5100 are more realistic. The Nikon D5100 has a full-time autofocus function, so it focuses constantly, even in movie mode. This can indeed be useful, but be careful, this feature doesn't work very well in low-light conditions. The last point I'm going to make is about the kit lens. Both perform pretty much equally when it comes to the aperture, but when, it, but when filming, the Nikon lens is the winner because it allows smooth focusing and zooming. However, that's just a matter of the lens. But enough talking, let's take a look at the images and videos I've shot with both cameras.
in simple words for the automatic shots, the Nikon D5100 can be seen as the winner in my opinion. However, if you want to have more control over everything and prefer to use manual settings, especially in movie mode, then the Canon 600D clearly is the winner. In the end, you have to decide which DSLR is the winner for you. Both are very good, that's for sure. And I guess that's all. I hope I didn't forget to mention a thing or two, and hopefully you found this comparison video helpful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and visit nicholaslevnicksmovetankx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.